Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about troubleshooting. Why troubleshooting? Well, think about it. More than likely, if you're a network admin, unless you've been in it for a very long time, your main role is not, they don't call you into the meeting and say, hey, we're completely redesigning our entire infrastructure. We need you on that. We need you to, to decide what our IP addressing scheme is, what gear we're going to buy. That's probably not what you are going to be doing. Typically, especially if you're coming in entry level, your job is going to be, hey, the network already exists. If something breaks, your phone will ring. And think about that. How um, valuable will you seem to be if the network always functions smoothly? I have this mental picture of, if you remember the Maytag repairman guy just kind of sitting there, just, I wish something would break, I wish something would break. And eventually, if nothing ever breaks, they'll start to think they don't need you. So troubleshooting skills will be your saving grace, so to speak, because occasionally stuff breaks. Your job, your goal when something breaks is to be able to return and restore connectivity quickly. People are waiting. Jobs are not getting done while the system is down. So thus introduce the topic of troubleshooting because troubleshooting is kind of like one of those things where you're sometimes just intrinsically good at it. It's like that guy, he just knows how to troubleshoot, kind of like you're watching professional sporting activity and you'll sit, hear one of the commentators say, you can't coach that. that, the guy just does that, my goodness. So you want to have that kind of same mindset, that same kind of skill level when it comes to troubleshooting to become good at it, versed in it. Well, every person tells you, hey, I need tools to do my job. Well, see on screen here, I have Microsoft Network Monitor in the latest version 3.4. I just went to the Microsoft site, clicked on it here, because this is one of the tools you can use to analyze your network traffic. And if you're really digging down to the nitty gritty of your network, you want to see what is actually crossing the wire, so to speak. This is one of those free tools. The other videos we've talked about, Wireshark is another one. But let's take a look at it. I'm going to kind of walk you through the process. And I, I have a 64-bit box here, not the Itanium. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the download of NM34X64. And I'm going to save this. Let's see, where, where can I put it? I'll put it in Downloads. And I'm going to actually create myself a new folder called Netmon. How's that? That way I can find it later. And I'm going to save it there. Not a major download. And 321 should be gone. Actually, let me even browse to that location. And I'm going to go to Downloads, Netmon. Hey, it looks like it's there. So let's run it as admin. We have all the power. This will install it. Yes, I wish to continue. And I'm going to accept the terms, because if I don't accept the terms, it won't go anywhere. And I'll go ahead and do a complete install. Sure, I'll take a shortcut. I'm not going to reassociate my cap file. And let this guy install. Again, this gets down to the nitty gritty. If if you think something is supposed to be working, it's like I've configured everything correctly and it's just not working. Why is it not working? Well, let me again analyze the individual packets, frames, whatever, crossing the wire, see if I can figure out what is either not getting all the way to its destination, or in some cases, there's traffic that can get to the destination but doesn't know how to get back. Nevertheless, troubleshooting, analyzing the individual pieces of information on your network will lots of times come in very handy. In fact, a lot of times, people who are troubleshooting, that'll be their first thing to do. Well, let me get a capture going and see what's actually happening on this network. Because oftentimes, what you think is happening doesn't match what actually is happening. So we'll go ahead and let this install finish here. Looks like I can get rid of this guy. And close it. And I don't need the web page anymore, so I'll close that. This guy should be done. Aha, look at that. I even got a desktop icon out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. Sure. And here we go. So I'll maximize this guy. Here's my welcome screen. Welcome to Network Monitor 3.4. And let's see. what. Let's go to Tools. Actually, I actually want to look at my capture file. Uh, not capture file, new capture. And here we go. And I actually could just click start, but let's check and see what it's capturing. And I really am only interested at this point in capturing the traffic crossing the local area network connection. So I'm going to uncheck everything else and close that. And then I'm going to go ahead and click start. 
and I should start seeing traffic crossing the wire. Sure enough, there it goes. I scroll down, lots of stuff happening. I can go ahead and capture stop, and I've captured some traffic. Once again, once you have this, you can start, if you think a particular host is causing issues or having issues or the user of that particular workstation is calling you, you can focus in exactly on that. There's my source information, destination information. Like I say, analyzing the captured traffic is also a skill in and of itself. So just uh, installing network monitor, half the battle, not, actually, not even half the battle. But you get skilled at, as you look at this stuff more and more, hey, I, I've located the source of the problem. It's getting this far, but it's not getting this far. My goal today was just kind of share with you one of those tools that you may not be aware of as a network admin that can come in very handy, free download, so give it a shot. And before you actually dive into an enterprise troubleshooting example, as I say, you can fire this up on your own in a lab environment, get practice in watching the network traffic, analyzing it, and I guess one of the good uh, suggestions is know what your network looks like when it's operating correctly. That way it's easy to recognize when it doesn't. I remember growing up, my mother had a car that she drove every day. And if it started making any funny noise at all, she would tell my dad. And my dad would immediately that day get out and start working on it. Because he learned quickly, she knows what that car sounds like when it's working correctly. So she was very quick to notice if there was anything funny about it that he would better get out there and take a look at it. Otherwise, it's going to break down. It's going to be a big, uh, much bigger headache. Same kind of strategy would come into play in your network. Kind of go into your server room and look at your equipment, how the lights are blinking to know how things are supposed to be operating so that when something does go wrong, you're aware of it and you have the right trouble. It is a, a job is always made easier by having the right tools. So I'm just suggesting one more tool to add to your network admin tool belt.